Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. How can maths be taught? It is certainly a mental challenge, but it can also be fun and ultimately rewarding. Join us now in the US, Japan and China for a look at different ways of learning sometimes elusive and challenging calculations. Usually videos are seen as tools for entertainment and games. But they can also have a powerful educational impact. Let's look at a case in California where a teacher and his young students have developed video as a lesson tool for maths. Here in Santa Monica, California, they're experimenting with a new approach to teaching maths. They're math tutorials, and so the students will be watching the videos beforehand, before class for, a, for, uh, for homework, or in class time sometimes we'll also put on a video and the students will get something out of that because first of all, they're used to watching video, it's, uh, and also, um, if we want to or if they want to, you know, we can always hit pause or rewind on something. So four times three is twelve. So then we're going to bring the rest of the problem down, which is plus seven, and that's our answer. Nineteen. Thank you for listening. <laughs> it just sounds and looks like visually, um, I think more entertaining. I think hearing a kid's voice teaching me is kind of like makes me want to learn more of it. Students learn the same way as you, so you're kind of like um, learning how other kids learn, which like is sort of better, because it might, might be different the way you learn from a teacher than from a student. Math Train TV began five years ago, when Eric Marcos made a short video to explain a maths problem to one of his students. Next day in school, other kids heard about the video. They wanted to get a copy of that video or a video made for them. And then the next thing you know, I'm putting the videos up in different places and websites and, and, and all over the place. And then a kid, she came up to me and said, Mr. Marcos, can I make a video? So now, math students make explanatory videos every day after school. Hi, it's Phineas, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do absolute value. So let's see how much positive 5 is from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the absolute value of 5 equals 5. Thank you. See you later. I never really thought of it as learning, really. I just thought of it as fun and playing with a tablet and all this new technology. But, um, you know, when I go to school the next day, I'm like, wow, you know, I really understand this. Sometimes I'd even be ahead of what the class is learning. So I think that's why I come over here. The students have discovered that the best way to learn is by teaching others. One of them is teaching the other, and the others are watching, and they're all learning basically how to not only use a tablet, which is pretty natural, but also how to create a math video. And if we get anything out of this, we'll put up a mathtrain.tv. Today, children all over the world are logging on to watch Math Train TV videos made by Eric Marcos and his pupils. Everybody starts out using his fingers to count. But there are some tools like the traditional abacus or soroban, as they call it in Japan, that has helped in developing problem-solving ability. Let's see how in Tokyo. Counting things like people or money is often done by machines these days. We all have calculators and many of us no longer bother to do even simple calculations in our heads. But Taro Okamoto can remember not only the numbers that appear on the screen, he can also do mental calculations involving three, four and even five and six digit numbers. 43, that's right. 
What Taro does is called Anzan. He uses his hands to remember the visual representation of the numbers after practicing on a centuries-old calculating device called Soroban, which is a descendant of the Roman abacus. Visualization and memory are not thinking about numbers. You're imagining these beams and you calculate looking at them. So we're calculating with this other side of the brain, which is not the one we usually use. Tomoe Fujimoto says that doing mathematical calculations is only one function of the Soroban. I want to become an engineer, and I'm not sure that mental calculations will help in my career. But I think that learning that skill as a child will help anyway. The value of the Soroban is that using it requires full integration of all the brain's major processes, providing a holistic and comprehensive workout for the brain. The program for international student assessment found that math students in Shanghai outscored their counterparts in other countries. What makes them so highly competitive? Let's find out in this report from China. Shanghai is the most modern and cosmopolitan city in China, and its math students are among the most promising in the world. In international tests, Chinese schoolchildren outperform other pupils, even those with higher educational levels. The Jing An Experimental School took part in the most recent examinations, and 40 of its students showed the world that when it comes to maths, they're in a class of their own. They study for hours every day and are able to solve problems which are impossible for others of the same age. Our teaching method is to let the students learn at first and then show their mistakes and how to solve those problems. In the process of learning, first the students read books or talk with their classmates. This way they can solve problems by themselves at first. Other teachers say there's also a logical reason why the Chinese are so good at maths. For them, every number has a meaning and not just a name. So 20 in Mandarin is 2 times 10, and 58 is 5 times 10 plus 8. So calculation and numbers are part of their language and their lives. Maths is a science you can find everywhere in your daily life, so the point is not how many maths problems your students can solve, but it's the way you train your students to be logical. They acquire the ability to see all sides of a question, to analyse problems and solve them. The Shanghai High School offers extra maths classes to the brightest students. And the competition is fierce to be chosen to compete at international maths olympiads. This competition means they've become the best in the world. I really enjoy working hard to solve a problem, and the reward is that it makes me understand the subject better. I think maths is beautiful because it's a science focusing on natural structure, and when I'm solving maths problems, I discover the beauty of nature. Finally, do you find relying on electronic calculators and computers for problem solving weakens your mental calculation ability? Let us know what you think. Send us a message via Facebook and Twitter. Looking forward to your answers. Goodbye for now.
Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.